In today's video, I am going to show you how to add a double exposure effect to any video in Premiere Pro, as you can see on the screen. Creating a double exposure effect in Premiere Pro is a cool way to add a dreamlike or artistic touch to your videos. So, let's get started. Now we are inside Premiere Pro. As you can see on the timeline, I have got a stock footage. Firstly, from the project panel, we have to create an adjustment layer, and then, click on OK. After that, let's drag and drop the adjustment layer to the timeline in video layer 2. Next, select the adjustment layer and move over to the effect controls panel. Now, in the opacity panel, we have to create a mask. That's why, let's click on the create ellipse mask icon. As you can see on the program monitor, a default mask has been successfully created. Now, we have to resize and reposition the mask. Please note, this step is important. So, you have to create a mask perfectly. You can follow me to create a perfect mask. All right, we have successfully resized and repositioned the mask. In the next step, let's make the mask feather parameter value around 300. And then, we have to make the mask expansion parameter value around 150. After that, let's click on the box to enable the inverted parameter. Now, let's move over to the effects panel to apply an effect. This is a brightness and contrast effect. Let's drag and drop the brightness and contrast effect to the adjustment layer. And then, go to the effect controls panel to customize the brightness and contrast effect. Firstly, let's make the brightness parameter value around negative 18. And then, we have to make the contrast parameter value around negative 1. You can apply the brightness and contrast effect to adjust the overall tonal range of your video clip. In the next step, let's go to the effects panel to apply another effect. This is a directional blur effect. Let's drag and drop the directional blur effect to the adjustment layer. And then, move over to the effect controls panel to customize the directional blur effect. First of all, let's make the blur length parameter value around 36. And then, we have to create a mask for the directional blur effect. That's why, let's click on the create ellipse mask icon. As you can see on the program monitor, a default mask has been successfully created. Now, we have to resize and reposition the mask. Please note, this step is important. So, you have to create a mask perfectly. You can follow me to create a perfect mask. All right, we have successfully resized and repositioned the mask. In the next step, let's make the mask feather parameter value around 295. And then, we have to make the mask expansion parameter value around 123. After that, let's click on the box to enable the inverted parameter. In the last step, let's move over to the effects panel to apply another effect. This is a transform effect. Next, let's drag and drop the transform effect to the adjustment layer. And then, go to the effect controls panel to customize the transform effect. First of all, we have to make the X position parameter value around 484. And then, let's make the Y position parameter value around 526. And lastly, let's make the scale parameter value around 150. All right, our double exposure effect creation is complete. In this way, by following these steps and exploring your creativity, you can create stunning double exposure effects in Premiere Pro to elevate your video projects. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video and leave a comment.